Right. Obviously, we need to show that the modulus of e to the power e to the iz equals e to the minus y, and we need to show that minus 1 all to the power 1 over pi equals e to the 2n plus 1 in brackets i. Okay, to prove this, we actually begin as follows, so we are going to be showing that. e to the i z equals to e to the minus i. So how do we show this here? We let z be x plus i y. Then this means that e to the i z is e to the i x plus i y which is e to the ix minus y. And this is e to the minus y, e to the ix. Right, so which means therefore you have e to the i z, and we've already seen that is e to the minus y times e to the ix. That's what we have here. Okay, we further expand this and realize that it is e to the minus y times e to the i x, which means the modulus of e to the minus y is that times e to the i x. And so this here is e to the minus y and so what is this? This is exactly cosine x plus i, the trigonometric sine of x, e to the minus y into the square root of cosine squared x plus sine squared x, right, which is uh, exactly e to the minus y, 1, and this is e to the minus y. Hence, e to the i x i z e to the i z modulus is e to the minus y. Okay, so this here is extremely important for us because um, that is what we get and this is the result. So the modulus of e to the iz is e to the minus y. Next. Right, we proceed to know that we shall be showing that minus 1 to the power 1 over n, or rather minus 1 to the power 1 over pi. Okay. 1 over pi like so, is e to the power 2n plus 1, i. <laughs> showing this, showing that this is the case, we note that. Okay, so this is exactly cosine pi plus i, the sine of pi. 1 over pi. Okay, we understand that this minus 1 can be written exactly like this. But because the period of the sine and the cosine functions, they have the same period of 2 pi n. So this can also be written as 2 pi n plus pi plus i the sine of 2 pi n plus pi. Okay, and now we have exactly that. And we need to simplify these carefully and get the 
result that is to be obtained here. So we have this here, like this. So what do we get? Right, so what we're getting here is that we have e to the power 2 pi n plus pi i, like this. In exponential form, this presentation is possible. So now you're going to pull out pi. So getting 2n plus 1 i and you have outside one over pi, right? So this is e to the power pi into 2n plus one i divided by pi. So what is this? This is exactly 2n plus one um, e to the power 2n plus one times i. Hence, if you have minus 1 to the power 1 over pi plus 1, like this. Okay, and this is what we had to prove, and we have proven that. Right, so thanks everybody. Goodbye to you.